Hi, my name is Umar Qureshi and today I'm going to be discussing a movie called Aurangzeb. Yes, you heard right. It's called Aurangzeb and it's got uh, not Mughals with us, but it's got uh, Arjun Kapoor, it's got Sasha and Prithvi Raj who are sitting with me right now. You were dating Ruslan Mumtaz. No, I was uh, not. <laughs> he's in the movie, right? Which movie? I Don't Love You. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that that's movie. It's releasing on the same Correct. day. You were dating him. Like, that was news all over the place. No, I wasn't. So then why is this movie called I Don't Love You? Were you dating Anushka recently, like it was announced? People announce things that I'm dating somebody or the other, so I let people announce my life's decisions and my life's relationships. Why can't two people just be friends? Right? In 2013, 2013, a guy and a girl can be friends. Hmm. And we don't have to be dating. What is firstly? I don't think in India the concept of dating exists. Of course it does. We're going to discuss what, why Aurangzeb first of all. I think Aurangzeb primarily works as a metaphor in our film. Uh, hmm. Each and every character has traits of uh, Aurangzeb as an emperor was somebody who was uh, who destroyed anybody that came in his way uh, to obtain absolute hmm. power. So I think it works well for all our characters in the film. So and hmm. it creates a nice intrigue. Like if you hmm. react to the title after yeah. hearing about it, it's doing his job well, then it's creating a certain amount of intrigue. Yeah. Kya hai? What is it about? And when you see the trailer, you realize every character's journey to obtain mm -hmm. power is mm -hmm. pretty much how Aurangzeb tried to obtain power. Right. Uh, do women do that a lot? <laughs> I think they should. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do women obtain power? Like, absolute power? Uh, I think you should be a good cook and everything will be... You That's know. all. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think the, the, the key to a man's heart is a stomach. No, I think a, a key to a man's heart is a stomach, no? Achha, you're talking about obtaining a man. A man. Yeah. What were Basically. you talking about? No, just general. Chalo, Chalo, I, thought, I thought you were talking about a man. No, no, but basically it's just cooking. It has to be much more than that, right? Well, I mean, what? I mean, lots of things, you know, that, but uh, for me... Seduction. Power. It, yeah, that Seduction would be in your character. <laughs> yeah, in my character, that's, that's totally there. And uh, you kind of see it in the trailers as well. That hotness, you know, she kind of mm. brings to the screen. And okay. that's why, you know, his character is kind of just... Female tyrant, kind of. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you get seduced by um, an Aurangzebian woman who's a good cook? <laughs> uh... An Aurangzebian woman? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, it'll take a lot more than good cooking to seduce me. <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> uh, but anyways, I mean, uh, as Arjun pointed out, uh, the titles are very much a metaphor in the context of the mm -hmm. film. And uh, more than I think uh, Aurangzeb being someone who did anything to mm -hmm. gain that absolute right. uh, monopoly over his kingdom, it signifies someone who really does not look at family as family, if they are the people standing in his way, you know. Oh. The tagline of the film, I think, serves the title more than the title itself, which goes, Kin kingship knows yeah. no kinship. So, in a, nice. in a very, um, uh, in, a, in a very not so subtle way, I yeah. think the title Aurangzeb is significant to yeah. almost every character in the film. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, everybody at one point in time decides to make a decision that uh, mm. objectifies their own family and friends for their own good, you know. So, in that way, I think Aurangzeb is a very, very uh, apt yeah. title for the film. Uh, you have, uh, you, uh, not many people know this, I mean, uh, a lot of people in the media know this, that you're the daughter of Salma Aga. Yes, yes. Okay. You know, she was a legendary singer yes, and yes. actress in Nikka. Okay. She was very demure and very coy. Yes. And, uh, you know, absolutely <laughs> the opposite. Well, I mean, times have yeah. changed, you know. It, I mean, you should, uh, it's obviously, I, you know, to fill her shoes, it's like a big thing. But, uh, you know, I'm my own individual yeah. person, so I've kind of taken my own path mm. towards it, you know. No, but a uh, bikini, huh? all the curves, all the <laughs> kissing, huh? <laughs> yes, no you kissing I think it was you. <laughs> yeah, you're kissing you. Was <laughs> Yeah. You don't it remember? Well, I mean... Bad Arjun, come on. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't remember. <laughs> he doesn't remember. <laughs> you don't... That's, no, that's no, incredible. It's a, it's that's a, it's a family that's film. <laughs> There's no kissing and all. With yeah, bikini, yeah. what film are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, see, see, he's a gentleman. He yeah. remembers the kisses. You but don't. He's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I went with the, you know, Adi sir's judgment of when mm. I mean I auditioned for it. I got the part, and he said, you know, this is how it is. So, you know, he said, this is how I want you to, you know, mm. kind of be presented and start off. So I said, mm. you know, how can I kind of question his judgment towards that? So I said, yeah, definitely. Mm. You know, why not? If that's how you want me to kind of go about mm. with it. Were you? Did you feel left out? From what? All the kissing. 
well, no, Arya did not. But if I did, no, I mean, I, I, it, I, I know as Arjun mentioned earlier, I was not even that part of the film. That's the way yeah. the narrative has been designed. You sound very uh, disappointed. Uh, I am, totally. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, you know, I, um, uh, within, in its own scheme, I think uh, the mm. film serves its purpose very well. Yeah. That uh, my character's track is designed in a particular way. Yeah. Ajay's is designed in a particular way. Vishal's is designed in a particular yeah. way. Yeah. And I think where the film becomes interesting is when each one of these people are put in someone else's uh, zone within yeah. the within the story, and that is when they start realizing that things around them were never really the way they thought it was. Mm. And uh, you know, coming to Sasha, you know, I've uh, I've always mm. thought that it's actually much tougher tougher to make a debut mm. in a, in a role like this. You know, the easy way out for an actress would be to play the demure, innocent girl mm. next door. I mean, that yeah. would be like the ideal debut. Now, yeah. put an actress in her first film in a role like this. <laughs> now, that is posing a challenge. Now, let's see, let's see how she's. Uh, Your debut from. was a very demure six. Back, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that, exactly, you know, uh, no, I love in, it when you Hindi say it's my debut because yeah, it was my debut. Yeah, debut in Hindi movies. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. For me, that yeah. was very new. Uh, the fact that someone yeah. wanted me to, uh, you know, play yeah. this yeah. Uh, whole sex symbol thing and uh, I completely enjoyed it and it was very yeah. flattering, I thought. But uh, which is what is very interesting for me as an actor in Aurangzeb yeah. because it's drastically opposite. Yeah. Uh, there is this guy who's very straightforward and very serious and sober about yeah. what he's doing. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, in 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 its hmm. own fashion, I think Aurangzeb puts me back in my comfort zone because you know you're like that in real life, serious guy. No, I've I, in, in, the, in the sense that you know this is the kind of movies that I tend to be associated with more in the south. In the south. Uh, yeah, so you're yeah, a huge star in the south, so well, I, well I've been yeah. around for a while. So <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, in that sense, yeah. I think uh, you know Aurangzeb. I'm hoping people uh, in the north. Uh, get to see more of the actor that I am and uh, as I, I mildly put it, you know, I'm hoping they see me from neck upwards this time, so... Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you want to be accepted for... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be very excited if, uh, you know, if, if I'm known for my abs, you know, that, that's really not me. No, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know you have no memory of the kiss, but were you nervous, the two of you, uh, before doing that scene? You know, honestly... Uh, Mechanical, right? I, I don't think that yeah. ever happens because you, anyways, you spend when you read the script, you prepare, you are, you're aware, you're, yeah. it's a part of it. Yeah. So you, your mind acclimatizes to the thought mm -hmm. in itself, mm -hmm. to the screenplay. I'm going to ask all of you this question. This movie, Aurangzeb, also has very, very senior actors like Rishi Kapoor, there's uh, Jackie, and there is Amrita Singh making a comeback. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, did that put more pressure on you as performer? As much as you, you know that they are very senior actors and they are legends in their own rights. As actors, you know, once you're in front of the camera actually doing the scene, then somewhere subconsciously you become the character and they become their character and then it's just two characters interacting. True. Now when the camera is switched off and you're yeah. sitting aside and having a cup of coffee, obviously you know this is Rishi Kapoor, yeah. you know, and yeah. uh, that man is intimidating, yeah. I can assure you. You know, he can walk onto <laughs> yeah, the sets, yeah, yeah. he can walk onto the sets and steamroll you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so you have to be on the wall you and know. you know, yeah, so uh, he's the kind of actor who who is so overbearing, you know, within the, the frame that... Larger than life. Correct. Unless you are very sure of what you are doing and, you know, unless you really know how to react to what he will do... And he'll you tell know, you on your face. <laughs> absolutely. You might as well be not there in the scene. Yeah. So, I, I love that. You know, I love yeah. the fact that here was... Because some of my best scenes in the film are with him. Yeah. And I love the fact that I had to be on my toes. And what is even more endearing is I can tell you that as much as we are enjoying watching Mr. Rishi Kapoor in this new avatar that he is suddenly donned, yeah, yeah. he is enjoying doing mm, it. He this, is enjoying it. This, this, yeah, this uh, reinvention that has come about, I think more yeah. than anyone else, he is enjoying it. Absolutely. So that the quintessential lover boy to now Absolutely, play characters yeah. like Rauf Lala and Do Duni Char and yeah. uh, Student of the Year and now this. Incredible. Yeah. That he man is, is having a ball and he that is, really shows in his performance. But he yeah. is so multi-talented. Yeah. Oh, he is spectacular. Is it, and that's yeah. brilliant that today he's enjoying acting. I mean, mm. he's not bound by being a, just a quintessential hero. Yeah, he's he's so complain much about just wearing cardigan, Correct. you know, singing uh, <laughs> around. He had a, the largest collection the, of cardigans at one point. Nicest, right? The <laughs> nicest part about all of them, yeah, and, and, and yeah. I include Prithvi in this because mm. what people don't realize is he's done the kind of, his mm. body of work down south, and we keep saying down south, mm. but he's, his body of work is tremendous. Like, I'd seen mm. his earlier films when I met him to realize mm. how down to earth and how relaxed and how calm and how normal all of them are. They, yeah. they don't take it too seriously. That is the nicest part. It's not about ki main So mm -hmm. did you wait for the Yashraj launch because every heroine wants to be launched by Yashraj? Of course, yeah. I auditioned with yeah. them for a while and you know, I mean... And you said no to everything else. 
Yeah, I, I, yes, yes. I didn't want to do anything else but a Yashrat film, of course. You've sung a song in the movie. Yes. Uh, any training from your mom? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of yeah. course, all the training that I can get. She loves singing. Yeah. Does she yeah, sing she well? Does, she loves singing. You, I can't answer that question because... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You've seen, you've seen the song. No, no. Well, I'm <laughs> going to ask the opinion of the, your two heroes. Does she sing well? I mean, from whatever I've heard from the uh, song in Aurangzeb, of course she does sing well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any comparisons to your voice and your mom's voice? Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, she's like, you know, she's got a very beautiful classical voice. Hmm. I have a very different voice to hers. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, you can, yeah. when you hear it, you can kind of make it out. But she's very passionate mm -hmm. about music. That's a, that's mm -hmm. something that I noticed about yeah. her. The, yeah. Whatever time I spent with her, passionate she's about music. Yeah, yeah, very. You have to be in our uh, industry. It's all about music, a lot of it. No, for somebody yeah. who's pursuing acting to have another passion that's, that's, that's so close. Yeah. It's it's like हम लोग एक चीज ठीक से कर ले तो we feel happy. As in, I'm talking about yeah. myself. I feel you should give it. She's yeah. pursuing two two things at the same time, and it's yeah. it's commendable that she's been doing it for बचपन से कार्य हो ना. Yeah, yeah. मतलब पिछले साल से but. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, since I was like 12, I, you know, kind of... Which is like last year. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> last year, right? Huh? Are we? Last year, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but Thank yeah. you, actually. Now that makes me feel very strange. <laughs> yeah, well, you need to stop talking stuff. Oh my God, you kissed a 13-year-old. <laughs> okay, now I'm feeling awkward. <laughs> yeah. Achha, now you're feeling awkward. Now you're feeling awkward. <laughs> Your film Aurangzeb uh, is releasing on the same day as I Don't Love You. Okay. And you were dating Ruslan Mumtaz. No, I was uh, not. <laughs> uh, before that, uh, he's in the movie, right? Which movie? I Don't Love You. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that that's a movie. It's releasing on the same Correct. day. You were dating him. Like, that was news all over the place. No, I wasn't. <laughs> you weren't? No. So then why is this movie called I Don't Love You? I think you should go ask him, I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, tell me, were you dating Anushka recently, like it was announced? People announce things that I'm dating somebody or the other, so I let people announce my life's decisions and my life's relationships. Why can't two people just be friends? It, it, uh, which, which year are we in? We're in 2013. 2013. A guy and a girl can be friends. Hmm. And we don't have to be dating. What is firstly? I don't think in India the concept of dating exists. Of course it does. No, it, a date means that you get to meet somebody, you get to take them out, and you get to see if things there is some compatibility. Yeah. In our country, that yeah. very rarely happens. Very rarely happens. Hmm. So uh, I've been friends with her when I came to meet you during Ishak Zade also, and I still remain friends with her. And I'll always remain a, a friend to her, and she'll always be a friend to me. But what happens is if we are seen in a public place, in the same vicinity also, yeah. even, we might not even be together. You gave the same answer last time. But that is what <laughs> happens. It happened even then. And yeah, I told yeah, you that, yeah, that you we said, all went yeah. for dinner. Yeah. But because our faces are recognized, we get written about. Fair enough. I, yeah. I mean, see, listen, people do their job. They have to report if they see something. But you're a young, good-looking guy. Are you single? I am. And yeah. that's the thing. I can afford to be single for as long as I want. I don't yeah. want to be confounded to a relationship at this point in time. Well done. <laughs> you're single. Yes. Any unfortunate incident in the media that's happened with you that's left a bad taste in your mouth? No, not at all. Not yeah. at all. Absolutely nothing. No, You're, like, definitely thrilled. not. My mom's been there. Yeah. You know, the whole family's been there in the industry, so not yeah. at all. What's been your dad's reaction to Aurangzeb? You know, surprisingly, so when I read the script and I spoke to him about it, saying it's not the conventional, hmm. uh, so-called uh, hmm. second film that you should approach to do. It's conventional in the sense that hmm. he's a typical hero wali picture. Hmm. He was more than excited. Yeah. Like he caught on to, he, see he's an audience member also at the end yeah. of the day and he's been a producer for so many years. And he knows. He that. understands the pulse yeah. or he yeah. at least feels that there is potential and so he saw tremendous potential mm. in, in Aurangzeb. Mm. Uh, and he he was very excited and uh, he yeah. saw the trailer and he reacted like, you know, I, I was mm. telling Adi, my father's reacted like a distributor. You know how distributors yeah. normally yeah. react very <laughs> excitedly yeah. like yeah. my father. And it, yeah. If I can give that happiness to my father by being an actor and doing yeah. that, you... It's, no, no, it's honestly speaking, it is the age of the newcomers yeah, uh, and it is the young breed who's making everything work right now. And uh, it's, we, everyone's very excited about Aurangzeb, so, which is why I'm going to wrap <coughs> with a few quickfire questions. Mm -hmm. or I'm going to ask all of you, according to you, the real action hero in Bollywood. Salman Khan. Salman Khan. <laughs> Salman. Name an actor in a lead role and his character from a gangster movie which has a strong recall value for you. Jack Nicholson in Departed recently. Um, or even Rithik's interpretation in Agnipath, he's also Ag sort of gangster. Yeah. So Daniel Day-Lewis in Gangs of New York, there's so yeah. many. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
Al Pacino's, Tony Colioni's, I mean, yeah. I mean, the ultimate. There yeah, are so many. Yeah. yeah. If you were to choose a brand ambassador for Bollywood, who would you choose? A uh, face for Bollywood. Yeah, it has to be the three Khans. Three three Khans. For you? Three Khans, three definitely. Khans. I think Anil Jha is a great ambassador. Your favorite movie from, uh, from your mom's movies? Kasam Paida Karne Wale Ki with Mithun. With a zombie dance in it. Yes, thrill, I think thriller. that was very different <laughs> from her yeah. Nikah phase. <laughs> Any regrets in life? Yeah, that my dad is not around to see my success. Yeah, I'm sure he's happy and watching. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure too. My dad, I've yeah. given anything to sit down yeah. and have a drink with him. No. Nothing yet. <laughs> one secret about you that no one knows? A lot of secrets. I don't think I like to say it on camera. That I'm actually quite a good cook. I have a strange phobia of ceiling fans. Ceiling fans? Yeah. Ceiling, okay. I have okay. a strange phobia. That's, that's strange, yeah. Yeah. Does, does it have a name? No. no, I'm okay. sure there is a name for it. There's a name it's, for it's, it's a very quirky phobia. It just it happened mm. when I was a kid um, because I used to be taller than most Why? people in class. So but when I used to put my hand up, it it used the to touch. The one star I know who doesn't like fans. <laughs> I, mean, I yeah. don't like fans yeah. actually. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very very much and looking forward to this movie because it's so different and it's so unique. Huh? Okay. And uh, wishing you a good cook. <laughs> in the bargain, <laughs> you made a good cook. <laughs> yeah, and looking forward to Aurangzeb. All the best. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks.